Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Hosanna David. I want to quickly respond to a question that people have been asking. It is very, very important to have to address this issue because it has to do with the salvation of the soul, and the body, and the spirit. The question is, can I baptize myself? Can I conduct baptism for myself? In case you have not subscribed, just subscribe, Hosanna e. e. David, and also Ego Eye Opener. These are my channels. Also visit my websites, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Okay, can I baptize myself? What is baptism? Baptism is from the Greek word baptisma, which means to submerge, it means to, to bury. And a lot of people ask questions. Some said they don't trust anybody anymore. That they decided, a lot of people worship online, and they decided to baptize themselves. And some have already baptized themselves. Is it right for a Christian to baptize himself? Why is baptism a barrier? Why is it a barrier? When we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, we mortify our flesh, that means kill our flesh, to die to the things of the world and become alive to God in Christ Jesus. We repent of our sins and come to God and decide to follow God, confess Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, confess Him publicly and then go for burial. Yes, the old man must die. We have to mortify the old man and the deeds of the flesh so that we can be alive to Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 3, verse 3 in particular, that except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And he said, except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Baptism is, is not totally being born again. It is a part of being born again. It has to do with repentance, it has to do with regeneration, it has to do with living your old life and living a new life. That is being born again. But what? why do we need to be baptized? Baptism is an initiatory rite. It is an admission. It is a ceremony through which new members are admitted into the body of Christ, which is the church. If you have been attending church, you are not yet baptized, it means you are not yet a member of the body of Christ. You need to be baptized. And to be baptized means you want to be buried with Christ in his death so that you can live with him. And it is about the kingdom. We have two kingdoms in the world, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. So if you are not in the kingdom of God, you don't belong to Jesus Christ. You may be attending a church, but you are not a member of his body. Because the church is a spiritual body of Jesus Christ. And for you to and for you to become a member of a kingdom, you need someone who is already a member of the kingdom to make you a member of that kingdom. A foreigner in a country can't make you a citizen. It is only a citizen that can admit you as a citizen into a country that you are not a citizen of. After you fulfilled some requirements or all the requirements. So, if you are not a member of a kingdom, how do you initiate yourself? How do you admit yourself? into that kingdom. You need somebody who is already a member of that kingdom to admit you into that kingdom. Let me read Romans chapter 6 verse 4. It says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That him there means Jesus Christ. We are buried with Jesus Christ through baptism. Romans chapter 6 verses 3 and 4. Know ye not 
that so many of us as we baptize into Jesus Christ we are baptized into his death therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness of life we have been baptized into Christ so when you are baptized you are admitted into the body of Christ the deeds of the flesh you give them up and you become alive in Jesus Christ so the simple answer is you can't baptize yourself if you are not a member of the kingdom you can't admit yourself you need somebody who is already a member to baptize you not necessarily a pastor but if it is a pastor fine but if there is no pastor where you live you are brethren you have a person who is baptized and you want to be baptized that person is qualified to baptize you the most important thing is that you fulfill the requirements of the kingdom don't get yourself baptized and for those of you who have already baptized yourself you need to be baptized properly by a Christian believer who is already baptized thank you God bless you visit my website ego eye opener and biblical sexual purity and don't forget to subscribe thank you remain rapturable God bless you